Thrifting ain't easy, unless you're watching me. Welcome back! This is the Thrift Store Rundown, Brainy Hollywood Home on a Budget. Today we're having a hot spring fling in the cool of the night. I'm bringing you some real hot deals in anticipation of the cooler spring temperatures ahead for when day turns to night. Right now, we're about to burn the midnight oil with five marvelous maroons. Let me get this off my chest before we begin. I'm not into maroon fives that much, but they have their place in pop culture for good reason. Their collab with Christina Aguilera, Moves Like Jagger, probably one of their major keystone hits. And hits such as Daylight, Payphone, Animals, She Will Be Loved, somehow, someway, almost always manage to find their way to a PA system whenever I go shopping. For a band that started out under the name Kara's Flowers in 94 to make their way to a 30-year legacy in the business? Yeah, no doubt that in the next five years... They'll be candidates for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But for now, they invite you to travel the Midnight Miles as they go on the world traveling through five continents and 17 countries. As photographer Christopher Ray McCann documents their rise to fame almost in real time. With essays and quotations on the world from all five members back then of Balloon 5. Adam Levine, the front man, Jesse Carmichael, Kim Valentine, Mickey Madden, and Ryan Dusick. This was picked up for three ninety nine and published by MTV Books. And for more on the book, here's a clip from Access Hollywood. Hello, Access Hollywood. We're Maroon 5, and we're inviting you right now into our exclusive she-she book party gallery showing exhibit. This love has taken the book is called Midnight Miles, and it follows the men of Maroon 5 on the road through 17 countries. The band really went through being kind of a small band that nobody knew to being really big, and, and this kind of spans the whole thing. What the book doesn't cover is Adam Levine's love life. He's rumored to have dated both Paris and Jessica. But what it does have is almost 300 photos of the band taken by longtime friend Christopher Ray McCann. It started a long time ago with him, so we felt cool. Usually it's kind of uncomfortable when someone constantly has a camera in your face. So what do you say? Let's hit the road and travel those midnight miles. I'm actually going to go by way of one photograph per each chapter in here. And this is where we start off. This is the group because you know it takes teamwork to make the dream work. I would assume this was a post-performance group photo because of how Adam is sweating through and through in his shirt. The chapters that follow in here are broken down as follows. After the introduction from legendary Crosby, Still, and Nash member Graham Nash, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, I should say, in case we have any hardcore fans of that group that might get me for mispronouncing their name, we have here USA, Australia, Brazil, Japan, UK, Europe, and North America. Seven contents. That means seven photographs, and I'll be only highlighting Adam Levine's essay in here. So that's photograph number one from the USA. Next up, we have a photograph here that just proves beyond a shadow of a reasonable doubt Adam Levine was, is, quite the ladies' man. And as you heard Access Hollywood say, nowhere in the book does it ever mention anything with regard to his love life, even though he was shopping around, up, but not down, meaning he was definitely trading up because of his profession, dating model after model after model that I can recall, before he married one, Bihari Prince Lou in 2014. <laughs> I assume this is Adam on stage, getting ready to perform, he's just one uh, piece of clothing away from making the girls definitely swoon to the point where he'll need earplugs in the morning. This is a black and white photograph of drummer Ryan Dusick that I'm highlighting with a nod to David Romero. Between the two of us and his pals, David is the drummer. He often likes to do these jam sessions on YouTube, solo drumming, and in those videos he doesn't know the first thing about drumming. 
<laughs> but what are you gonna do? At least he tries. This is the lone essay I'll be highlighting from Adam Levine. And his is not so much an essay compared to the other four in here, so much as it is kind of a checklist of what he did during the time of Maroon 5's rise to stardom in here. In that time, he and his band were nominated for and won a Grammy. The closest you'll get to knowing about his love life in here is falling in love and falling out of love while losing an aunt and an uncle, rest in peace, Marjorie Williams and Jack Cooper. Becoming a relatively well-adjusted adult, losing a drama but hopefully not a friend. Getting an unbelievable group of friends, his extended family, who know who they are, and getting a golden retriever named Frankie, one of the best creatures in the world. All the while realizing who really got him here in the first place. The fans. Quote, Thank you for appreciating what we do. You've made our lives. For that, I am eternally grateful. One last photo in here. Hands all joining in prior to going on stage because, as I said before, teamwork makes the dream work. It's not called Maroon 5 for nothing, and they're not stupid maroons. They're smart. Their songs, although somehow explicit, somewhat explicit really, are definitely well written. At least the five that I can remember. Again, I'm not into Maroon 5. The other four I mentioned at the top of the vid. Well, I don't listen to them by choice. Again, they're on the PA system. Moves like Jagger though, pretty darn good. And the instrumental is probably more sexier than the vocal version. Um, as far as the essays go, well, they too talk about uh, their experiences on the road, the meteoric rise to fame, and along the way encountering some problems while on their worldwide tour. From medical backups all the way to equipment malfunctions. There's little tension between the band here. For the most part, they manage to get it all away when they get on that stage. Because they know they gotta give it their all. This retails for $18.95 in the US and 26 bucks in Canada. Published by MTV Books. This gets all five claps. If you want to burn the midnight oil with Maroon 5, then by all means, get greasy. Because this is one slick, yet substantial, book. Thanks for tuning in. Just so you know there's no limit to Brady Hollywood Home on a budget, please go ahead and check out another awesome review like this one by clicking here, and make sure you subscribe by clicking here. Until next time, I'll catch you, as I always do, on the flip side.